Hi students, welcome to my class. How are you all? Hope you are fine. In the last class, we discussed about Boyle's law. Don't you remember the law? It's a relation between pressure and volume. Here, pressure and volume are inversely proportional to each other. Today, we are going to see another two laws. Charles' law and Avogadro's law. Let's begin the class. Students, see this experiment. Observe, the changes happen to the size of the balloon as the temperature increases. In this video, it is clear that the size of the balloon becomes bigger and bigger as the temperature increases. Do you know what happens to the kinetic energy of molecules if the temperature increases? Will it increase or decrease? It will increase, right? See another experiment. Here, the heat from the rising sun will cause the temperature within the balloon to rise. As a result, what happened? The size of the balloon becomes bigger and bigger. As the temperature increases, what happens to the volume? The volume of the balloon also increases. Now see the change. What happened to the volume of balloon when the sun sets? As the sun sets, the temperature decreases, causing the volume of balloon to decrease. So in both cases, what happens to the volume when the temperature is increased? As you see, the volume increases. Now observe the table which shows a relation between volume and temperature of a definite mass of a gas. Here the pressure is kept constant. Did you see the values of V by T? In which unit the temperature stated here? Yes, in Kelvin scale. Kelvin, one of the unit used to measure temperature. It is the French scientist Jax Charles who proved the relationship between the volume and temperature of a gas. This law is known as Charles' law. According to Charles' law, at constant pressure, the volume of a definite mass of a gas is directly proportional to the temperature in Kelvin scale. If V is the volume and T the temperature, then V by T will be a constant. Mathematically, we can write as V directly proportional to T. That is, V by T will be a constant. This equation can be rearranged as V1 by T1 equal V2 by T2, where V1 and V2 are the initial and final volume, and T1 and T2 are the initial and final temperature of a definite mass of a gas. Now see the next question. A cylinder fitted with a frictionless piston is filled with a gas at 1 atm pressure and 300 kelvin temperature. What happens to the volume of a gas when its pressure is decreased or the temperature is increased? As you know, according to Boyle's law, as the pressure decreases, what happens to the volume? Volume increases. As per Charles' law, what happens to the volume if the temperature is increased? The volume also increases. If the temperature and pressure are kept constant, how can we increase the volume? Any idea? It is Italian scientist Amido Avogadro who discovered the relation between volume and number of molecules of a gas. This relationship is known as Avogadro's law. According to Avogadro's law, at constant temperature and pressure, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the number of molecules. That is, as the volume increases, number of molecules also increases. Now see the mathematical expression. Here V is directly proportional to N, 
that means v by n is a constant. So we can write v1 by n1 equal v2 by n2 where v represents the volume of gas and n is the number of moles of gas. Okay students, now observe this experiment. What change happened to the size of the balloon as the number of molecule increases and decreases? Now we got the relation between v and n, right? So in our Gadrow law, the volume of gas is directly proportional to number of molecules. Is that clear? Now let's recall what we learned today. We learned about Charles law. It states the relation between the volume and temperature which is directly proportional to each other. In case of Avogadro law, volume is directly proportional to number of molecules. Okay students, I hope you understood this concept. Learn well. If you have any doubts, ask me through the class WhatsApp group. Okay, thank you.